Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. All right, so um, Democrats, why are you looking at me like that? So what? Democrats' ideas are dumb. Their, their voters are dumb. And we have proof. Yeah, what they preach doesn't work. Yeah, it just, it just, to any rational person, what's going on at the border? No, we're not talking about the border. I'm just saying, I'm just an example. You know, that's common sense. We say what's going on is wrong. No, we're not right? talking about that. No, like, I know what you're talking about. Let's that. get back on topic. I'm talking about it. Okay. Like defunding the police. <laughs> In what world does that work? <laughs> so, they, think, they think because you have, the more cops you have, the more crime you're going to have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cops are here. I'm going to do something I shouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. What we talk about today, in and out they're closing in Oakland. Who? in and out in and out The burger joint. Yeah, the one. Why would they close? Because every time I see an in and out those oh. lines are <clears throat> wrapped around the corner. Oh, it's profitable, but it's too dangerous for the employees. Oh, it's too much diversity up there. That's why. Well, it sounds like there ain't enough police to me. Hey, let's go well, to this It's first probably video. a combination of two things. Yeah, I'm sure. Not enough police. A little bit too much diversity. You got to have a good balance. 95% white, 5% diversity. <laughs> Let's go to the video. Oakland tonight, Remember defunding this? the police has become a reality. Hours ago, the council Man, voted to take more yeah, than couple 18 years ago. million dollars away from the police department to million. invest in violence because? prevention programs. Yeah. KPI XY's Andrea Nakano on the impact of this historic vote. The $18 million is over the course of the next two years. It's not the amount some city council members hope for, but according to the Oakland Police Officers Association, it's enough to compromise public safety. With this particular budget, we are showing that we can not only reimagine, we can take action. You see the city dumb black people back there? Nikki Fortunato Boss was <laughs> instrumental in passing Oakland's new budget. Most of the roughly $18 million diverted Man. from the police will now go to relatively new city programs. The Department of Violence Prevention and MACRO, the mobile crisis response team, which will handle mental health cases. <laughs> it is scary. I understand that. We are operating in fear. That's what we've been doing for many, many years. The Oakland Police Officers Association says it fully supports the programs funded in the new budget, but not at the cost of taking officers off the streets. Oh, no, OPOA President Barry you hear that, that black woman? Let's do the math, Keith. Eighteen million dollars, right? Eighteen million. Average cop makes about what? Oakland, probably about two hundred thousand a year. Two hundred thousand. Find that about two hundred. You don't make that much, come Over time. Okay, whatever. Plus, they probably get in the hatchet to pay because all all that diversity up there. Okay. Um, that's ninety police officers. Yeah, based on two hundred thousand dollars salary. That's crazy. Ninety. Imagine going to police department and there's ninety less police officers. In Oakland. Okay, let's go to today, and you'll see why in and out is closing their doors. in and out is out of Oakland. One of California's most popular, profitable burger chains is shuttering its Oakland restaurant. Companies saying just not safe enough. NBC Barry's Valina Jones explains how city leaders and other business owners are responding. The last six months, it, it got crazy. Black Bear diner closed, Starbucks closed, uh, the Indian the restaurant down the street about to close. And now in and out is being added to that list of businesses closing their doors along the Hagenberger 98th Avenue corridor. The reason businesses say they can't afford to stay open with the level of crime in the area. <laughs> Khalil is a restaurant <laughs> owner. He did not want his face or his business to be identified out of safety concerns. But he tells us his business now closes early and he's thinking about transitioning to strictly online orders if things don't improve. Go to a white neighborhood. It's a struggle. It's the first thing we do, like, when you first walk in, you know, we welcome you. First thing we ask you, are you a traveler? Do you have any luggage in the car? to take it to your hotel first. in and out plans to close their restaurant March 24th, saying in a statement their customers are constantly victimized by armed robberies and break-ins, going on to say this location remains a busy and profitable one for the company, but our top priority must be the safety. I'll be over there to see you, okay? 
I'm really sorry to hear that. The subway on 98th permanently <laughs> closed recently due to crime. The same owner also owns the Chevron property on Hagenberger and is worried he'll have to close another one of his businesses for the same reason. We were in the middle of an interview with Councilmember Treva Reed, yeah. who represents the district, yeah. when she got that call. Yeah. They have been long patient with us. Got a gun and to a there face. is no that more is patience. Crazy. They have given us grace and they want action and okay. they want to see how and when and where we are going to work with them. Last March, Raising Cane's closed their dining room because of security concerns. Now many businesses in the same shopping center have also left. OPD has increased patrols and cameras in the area. The agency says it's recently seen a roughly 40% decrease in auto burglaries and theft, but robberies are slightly up. We need a, a citywide robust strategy and a regional strategy partner with that with everyone at the table and all hands on deck to deliver for us citywide and especially at this corridor. The mayor plans on working with area and state <laughs> leaders to secure Cut more these dub Negroes off. <laughs> Man, that was a council member, a council member for um, Oakland. Y'all just voted for this a couple years ago. Yeah. $18 million stripped from cops mm -hmm. to give to like mental health programs and so when someone's getting robbed, there's no cop to show up, so y'all gonna send a person there with a clipboard. Say, why are you doing this? Oh, this you have you have mental you have mental problems. What you need is medication. We're gonna give you some drugs that's going it's gonna calm you down. It's gonna balance you out. You ain't gonna wanna rob no more. <laughs> yeah, like all Democrat policy is not sustainable. It doesn't it's like it's just <laughs> Like when I'm in, hey, when I see a cop, when I see a cop, I, I feel safe. Look, look how he's looking at me. Yeah. Oh, he's, look. He's making sure I ain't doing oh, nothing. He just told me to get out of the car. This man's doing a good job. <laughs> oh, what? You want to search my car? <laughs> I think that's against my rights, but uh, okay. <laughs> Anything to keep me safe. <laughs> hey, man. But this is what happens when you elect someone based on their skin color, not by merit. Yeah. You're asking for it. You got all these black women in power, and you know, women alone scare me when they empower folks. A lot of times they have a chip on the shoulder. Double that when it's a black woman. Well, um, women have too much empathy. It's yeah. good to have empathy. Exactly. But uh, like women, when it comes to empathy, what? Okay, that's why you killed them. Okay. And that's why you robbed the bank. Because you, you was broken. You, you was a. Uh, you was feeling down. Yeah, it sounds like you was having a mental break. Tell you what, like you hey, shut up. This is mine. Yeah, your mama just died too, and that sent you over the edge. You know what? Ten years probation, and I'm gonna suck you off. You need a full release. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Yo, hey, our giveaway is almost up. Last week, we given away a Ford F-350. And when you enter right now, you get 10 times the interest. And if you enter today, you also get into the win the F-250. Here you go. Tell them about both trucks. And when you win the truck, you get 10000 in cash. Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically into the win. Yeah.